emphasize to Bryce that he's got to help the bigs on the glass this season for Oklahoma State. All right, we're underway. Officials are Doug Sermons, Keith Kimball, and Blanca Burns. Cowboys in their Nike 7 uniforms to honor Native American history. Of course, the Salukis in their road maroons. First possession of the night. Both teams 1-0. and Little fall away jumper rattles out. And some pushing and shoving on the rebound. They're going to call the foul on the Salukis. Well, defensively, the Salukis, coached by Brian Mullins, former Saluki great, they're very sound. They're going to keep everything in front. You're going to have to move the ball to get angles and create opportunity. Southern Illinois bringing it up. In the hands of Jones, he'll kick it to the left wing. Shot clock at 10 for Southern Illinois. Out of Carbondale, Illinois, from the Missouri Valley Conference. Penetration, nice dish. And they're going to call a goaltend on the shot by Troy D'Amico. And that's what the transfer, Xavier Johnson, brings. I mean, he's a guy that you can put it in his hands late, goes make a play. Looks like he has nothing. They create something, and no doubt the ball hits the backboard. And Boone, Caleb Boone, a little bit late right there. That's a two. But that's, that's what Johnson, the transfer from George Mason, does. And more importantly, it moves Lance Jones, who we just talked about, off the ball, which more natural. John Michael Wright has it stripped away. Good to see him back on the floor. He had a cramp late in the game in the second half against Texas Arlington. Yeah, went down like a shot. Had everybody here a little concerned. Three-point shot off the mark. Cowboy rebound. Cissé sets the screen. They go the other way. Big fella gets it back. Mid-range jumper off the mark. Back rim no good. Saluki rebound. And, and Cissé is improved from 15 feet, but the Salukis will take that all day long. Three-point shot from the corner. Up and good for D'Amico. He's got all five Saluki points. And, and D'Amico getting the starts. He played quality minutes as a freshman last year. Getting the start tonight so that they can match up with Oklahoma State defensively. Sophomore out of the Windy City. Penetration, pull up, shot is good for Bryce Thompson. Boy, Thompson, a nice little mid-range game. Sometimes gets himself too deep, did not right there. And you see the elevation on the ball. We talked about that in previous broadcasts. Worked on his shot in the offseason, shooting it much better. The mask misses the three, rebound Oklahoma State. Cowboys looking for the tie. It's off the mark. Offensive rebound is no good. Corner three. Long this time. alley -oop to Cisse. Unable to finish. Hard to believe a little too tall for him. Well, it was just a little bit late. The exchange right there. Kicked out, stolen by Avery Anderson. Another Cowboy turnover. Ends up in Johnson's hand. Yeah, not a, not a good break right there off the turnover. Poor spacing. And I'm not sure what Anderson was trying to do right there. Three turnovers for the Cowboys. That three by Johnson around and out. So speaking of that, Mike, both these teams, Oklahoma State turned it over 17 times Monday night. As did Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois played great at both ends against Little Rock at home. The one blemish is that they turned it over 19 times. Timeout on the floor. 
up and down early on. You're watching Big 12 now on ESPN+. Plus. Before we... I Meaning he thinks they have a chance. A lot of work to do. Better pieces. Added a couple of uh, guys through the portal that can make shots. Cissé with the ball now improved. So they got the hands full, though, Mike, here tonight. Rebounded by Southern Illinois. As we take a look at the keys for Coach Boynton. Yeah, I talked to Coach Boynton this afternoon. Uh, defend the three-point line, obviously. This team can flat out shoot it. They shot 38% from the three-point line during conference last year. Hit 12 threes the other night. And then obviously the advantage, much like it was against UTA, is inside, meaning you got to get the ball into Caleb Boone and Musa Cisse and not abandon them like they did at times against Texas Arlington. Bryce Thompson hits the floor hard, helped up by Anderson and Tyreek Smith. Here's a drive by Thompson right there. It's a bang bang play. Again, I like Thompson driving and creating the contact. You look at last year, and I mentioned this right before it's hit, Mike. That he went to the line seven times against UTA. He only went to the line 60 times the entire year a season ago. And, you know, your typical mid range type players, if you're going to be labeled or become a scorer, quote unquote, you have to manufacture points other ways as well. And 6'5, 207, he's got 12 to 13 pounds more of muscle this year. And that should help him in that department as well. Price misses both free throws. Rebound tap out of bounds by the Cowboys. Damask will throw it in. A near three minute scoring drought for the Salukis, but they still lead it by three here in the first half. Damask will drive baseline, runs out of real estate, kicks it out. Long three is good. That's Jones. Yeah, deep range, too much space. Right? If you're on him, you have to be there on the catch. Thompson drives, dishes, and the finish. Fight. I think one of the things that we've seen early on and you hope it continues, is that the ball movement for Oklahoma State will be improved this year. And, and right there, nothing special, but the ball moved quickly, allowed Thompson to drive and create. Jones for three. Misses this time, but an offensive board gives the Salukis another chance. And this three-pointer is good for Damask. Now this team plays so well together. You get the long offensive rebound and notice it immediately began to move around the perimeter. Foul away from the ball on Southern Illinois. And we mentioned Southern Illinois bringing back the top two scores from a year ago. One is Jones, the other one is Damask. The mask, I mean, that's a ball player right there. 6'6", strong, can make the threes you saw, will post you if it's advantageous. But Brian Bones told us probably the best attribute of his game is his passing ability. He's a complete player. Speaking of passes, good one in there, but the Cowboys can't finish. And the Salukis pull down the rebound. Move inside for the basket by Dalton Banks. Yeah, so keep in mind the scrimmages, the scrimmage and exhibition for the Salukis this year were Kansas State and Alabama. And they more than held their own in each of those contests. Tough shot falling away is missed. Finds his teammate top of the circle three, no good. There's a chance there for Southern Illinois to take a double digit lead. Oh, 
Oklahoma State's going to have to bear down on this end. You notice how comfortable Southern Illinois has become. Ball's moving crisp. Turn it over on the baseline. Cowboys with a chance here with numbers. Open three. He got it. <laughs> Caleb Asbury knocking down the triple ends a run for Southern Illinois. Well, this is a good find right here. This is Asbury's first three as an Oklahoma State Cowboy. Shoots it well. That's what he was brought to Stillwater for. Times faster, keeping the lights on over 300,000 extra minutes the past year. We know the power of power. So to reduce outages and improve. Welcome back to Stillwater. Quick timeout. Saluki's with the basketball. We're going to call a reach on Caleb Boone. Trying to take it away from Damask. You mentioned uh, his credentials. 15 points, 5 rebounds, 3.9 assists last year. Preseason All-Missouri Valley. You know, how many guys lead a team in scoring, rebounding, and assists? And GPA, 4.0. Last guy to be a uh, Missouri Valley Conference scholar athlete was his coach, Brian Mullins, back in 2009. Another three, another make. Yeah. You know, one of the things I like about Asbury, his defense and energy is not affected by whether he makes shots or not. He made the three before we went to the last timeout. So now he's feeling a little bit. So Luki's basically go behind a screen right there, and Asbury has freedom. Shot clock at five. Three point shot, no good. One possession game for the tie is no good. Cowboys on a 6 0 run. D'Amico with a miss. But the putback is good. Yeah, you, you, you cannot just try to attempt to out jump the mass. And just assume that's how you're going to rebound. I mean, he's savvy, he's tough, he's strong. And right there, hurts the Cowboys. One and done possession there for Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State's got to be careful. And in getting in a three-point shooting contest against Southern Illinois. They, they will not survive that. Spin move, short, trying to bank it in. Comes Anderson in traffic, threads through all of it, lays it up and in. Cowboys had great spacing. When you talk about spacing, I think the first thing we all think of is in the half court, but in transition right there, I thought Oklahoma State was not great in terms of transition last year. Their spacing. That was good there. That gives a guy with quickness room to operate. Knocked away as Banks tried to drive it. We've got a timeout on the floor. Freshman and then J.D. Mula from north of the border has been having some back trouble. He's day to day. Yeah, and both those guys are going to help him and will be back, it sounds like, at some point. But both could have helped tonight. It's the size of Oklahoma State inside. And then the freshman's got a chance to be really, really good. He was excellent against Little Rock on Monday night. So you hate to hear that. But but hopefully, you know, if something's going to happen like that, it's early enough in the season that they can get those guys back, you know, conference when it's most important. Yeah. In time for conference play. They're picked third in the Missouri Valley behind Drake and Bradley. Short on the three, long rebound, Oklahoma State pushes. Harris kicks it right. Thompson drives, pulls up, knocks it down. Yeah, it's, it's amazing what a little passing and cutting will do. Yeah, nothing fancy right there. 
four out, one in around Cisse. They're not able to get it to him. Cisse comes as a relief foul. Gives it to Thompson where he's got some space to get to the mid range. Shot clock under 10 for the Salukis. Now three. Quick shot. Won't go. Barely got it off in time. Good defensive possession for Oklahoma State. Yeah, and a nice job of Cisse. And he and Caleb Boone are going to be put in a lot of situations tonight like they were Monday against perimeter defense. Cowboys turn it over and then commit the foul in a race for the loose ball. That's Keon Williams, the freshman's first personal. I think Williams, over time, as he gets more comfortable, will be a pretty important piece to the bench for Oklahoma State. And tonight, he may become even more important because you don't have Woody Newton. Some of those minutes very well could be extended to Williams tonight. Obviously, Chris Harris would be a guy that's uh, been around a long time that Coach Boynton trusts as well. Nearly a two and a half minute scoring drought for Southern Illinois. They're holding on to a one point whoa, 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 whoa. lead. Jones drives, stops, short. Here comes Harris. Cisse gets the roll, and the Cowboys have their first lead of the night. You can see his improvement, catching in traffic, having fairly sure feet right there. Obviously had the size advantage. It's good offense by Oklahoma State. Turnover on Southern Illinois. Oklahoma State getting some stops after the good early start from the Salukis. His little mid range jump from Thompson. And they're sick. The NIT game. I was actually there. Southern Illinois has really good basketball tradition. And great fans. And I know that they're excited about this year's ball club and should be. Well, one of the things we asked Coach Mullins prior to tip-off was how much has the program changed since he played in 2009? He said, you know, one thing that's consistent is the care factor. He said the fans are always supportive, always there, and that's something that's never changed in Carbondale. Shot clock winding down for the Cowboys. Nearly had an offensive board, but don't get it. Here are the Salukis for the chance to go back on top. Getting late into the shot clock. Last several possessions. And here they are again. Jones will drive left hand and another goal 10 on Oklahoma State. So tough matchup for the freshman against Jones and that's Keon Williams the effort is there but you really have to play Jones straight up or honest he and Johnson because they can go with either hand and, and, and basically as the shot clock's winding down Williams he's, he's really got to stay between the ball and the goal right and be straight up and he gave Jones a little driving lane, and then once he got the angle, it was a done deal. But that being said, I do think in time, Williams, because of his physical abilities, and if he will commit to it, could be a defensive stopper type of guy. Three point shot won't go. That basket, incidentally, by Southern Illinois on the goal team ends a four plus minute scoring drought. Open three, off the mark. 
once they force the Salukis a little bit of help, the ball moves great. You saw on that possession right there. Thompson the miss, but great offensive rebound using the, the wingspan. You know, going back to that last offensive possession for Southern Illinois, wide open three in the corner. Your, your closeouts against them, you can't leave your feet. I mean, you got to have hands high, especially if you're Caleb Boone. And you got to protect against the drive as well. You leave your feet, all of them, quick or not, have good first steps. And a three point opportunity off the inbounds for the Cowboys. And one of the things we've heard with Cisse and Boone playing together, they really like both of their willingness to pass. What a great one four high. Thompson does a good job bringing his man up towards the three point line. What that does is it creates more space with the pass from Caleb Boone. Seven points now for Thompson. Under six to go first half, two point Oklahoma State advantage. Turnover. Avery drives and lays it in. So quick in transition. I mean, he's a jet. And I've said it before. Even in, in a game of quick guys, I mean, he stands out. Damas, great feed. Left hand is good. That's Banks. Yeah, not sure what happened there. I, Asbury almost expected a switch, maybe on the weak side, but switch in that situation. Nice underhand scoop shot. Now Anderson Jones, now with half a Yeah, dozen. Jones is strong, but once Anderson got the angle, and Anderson's added 14 pounds from last season came into play. There. Much stronger, physically better situation than he was a year ago. Banks drives, dishes, fall away off the back rim. And Cisse grabs the rebound. The Cowboys turn it over. Wing three won't go. Four point Oklahoma State lead under four minutes remaining in the first half. Avery pass is off the mark. Six turnover on Oklahoma State. Avery, the finish on the break. Cowboys up four on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, the better Oklahoma State teams have had guys from the state. I mean, Mike Boynton did a great job of that. And the, the thing about this class, Mike, is they're all different. You have shooting, you have athleticism, you have playmaking ability. And all, and all guys, honestly, with, with a lot of upside. And so... The staff work really hard on getting this recruiting class complete. And, uh, but until they get here, right? Right. You don't you know how good they're going to be. But on paper, it's pretty impressive and, and well balanced. Yeah, on paper, the 12th best class in the country. Nice step back jumper is good for Avery. Cowboys have made their last four shots for the field and lead it by six. The mask, long three. Yeah, count it. Yeah, you, get, you have to get out, of, out there on the mask and jumps. And that's nothing for them to be four feet, five feet behind the three point arc and knock those down. Eight points for Damask. 
One possession game here late in the first half. Anderson, count it. Starting to heat up. Five and seven from the field. He's in double figures, Brendan. Yeah, a little mid-range right there. Always like it when he doesn't settle for the three. He's 0 for 4 from three-point range on Monday night. And he's capable of making those. I think he's an improved shooter from what was 32% from three last year. He's got to get downhill. Nice finish with the left hand for Jones and a three-point opportunity the old-fashioned way upcoming. Yeah, look, look at Jones right here. Again, you, you have to play straight up. As soon as he turns the corner on Asbury, it's a done deal. And you have Boone in the game, but you don't have Cissé. Cissé's got a little more presence about him. I mean, you're dead, when you're out there and he's on the floor and you're the opposing team, you're, you're very conscientious of that fact, no matter where you're on the floor. So in that situation, if you're going to double team or trap a Jones, you have to keep him in there. The idea is to make him give it up. There's, there's no reason to allow a guy to turn the corner on a double team of that caliber. Three-point play gives Jones eight for the night, equaling Damask's total. You know, you throw, a, or maybe sometimes we, throw around the term three-level score way too much. What that means is you can drive it, you have mid-range game, and you can shoot the three. Jones is legit yep. in that way. Cowboys will inbound it. 151 on the clock through the first half. Avery has it poked away. It'll stay with the Cowboys 15 on the shot clock. Really important minute 45 if you're Oklahoma State. You're down nine early. You get stops. You, you gain the lead. But obviously it's a, it's a tight ball game. You have to have a clean closure to this half meaning defensive soundness and then on this end you have to take care of the ball and make sure you know, you're going to get three four possessions maybe make sure that you get a good look each time and see if you can extend this lead and capture a little momentum going into half time. that'll help there you go Bryce Thompson for three should be a decent defensive lineup in here right now Oklahoma State needs to do if you close out with a series of stops. The mask hands it off. Corner three is good. Once they force that help and it moves, they move it great. There's no doubt they're going to make that extra pass. Good offense right there. Under a minute left. And the Cowboys answer with a three. That's his third. And yeah, three threes here this half. He made 136 three point shots in his career coming prior to Oklahoma State. Stop right here, Mike. Oklahoma State will get the ball back. Wing three, around and out. Battle for the rebound. It is off of Oklahoma State. Cisse checks in. As does D'Amico for the Saluki Xavier Anderson in as well. 5.4 ticks left on the clock. And a really talk and be sound right here. Miss. 
nearly a costly mistake there as the Cowboys turn it over, throw it right to the Salukis. We're at the half in Stillwater. Good ball game. Oklahoma State leading Southern Illinois 33-28. You're watching Big 12 now on ESPN. It'll be Saluki basketball to start the second 20 minutes. Well, in the perspective of Oklahoma State, do themselves a good service by having a better start than they did in the first six, seven minutes of the ball game in the first half when they got down nine. The mask throws it across court. Open three is off the mark by D'Amico. Cowboys nearly turned it over, but last touched by the Salukis. Double team doesn't matter. Caleb Boone able to convert. Boy, great action on that right there because you got the up diagonal screen to Boone after you enter the ball into Avery Anderson. Really like that play right there. The mask. Awkward looking shot there. C safe drives and finishes. Cowboys up nine, and Coach Mullins calling a timeout for Southern Illinois to regroup. That back screen, and if they help on it properly, then you have Cisse screening his man, and you got an excellent three-point shooter with the shot right there. I love that underneath the out-of-bounds play where they start 1-4 hot. And out of the timeout, Saluki's turn it over. Cowboys made their last seven shots to end the first half. Made their first two field goals in the second. Open three. Finally a miss, but an offensive board. How about that for a follow? <laughs> Well, interesting developing play right there. Well, a great start for Oklahoma State. And if you look back to Monday night against Texas Arlington, now you were here. Yeah. 28 to 2 run. But I will say I'm finished strong on the back end of that. And you're playing a much better basketball team, in my opinion, tonight. Stripped from Damask as he went up to try to dunk it on his end. See, see, I'm not sure what happened. He, he muffed it, picked it up. Anderson there, and the fuck go by. See, say, a little different type of two man play in that possession. Hands are right, right there, given. <laughs> Push your dad at the scores table as well. That's funny. Yeah, so He's a final four official. Great crew tonight, by the way. Jones drives. And that's where the big fella created created the uh, the off shot. Yeah, I mean Jones did the right he, right thing. He's great at getting to the paint, but you know C says there. I mean, he doesn't have to block the shot. He, he just disrupts everything by his presence. Bryce Thompson getting back to the strike. So this is good offense. You know, there's Lance Jones. I mean, goes right by John Michael Wright, but he knows trailing behind, lurking behind is CSA. I tell you what, having a big inside or a rim protector or shot blocker when you're a perimeter player can bail you out a lot. Like a lot better. Banks and Newton back on for the Salukis. Thompson still an 0 for, excuse me, 1 for 4 now from the free throw line. The thing is, you know, the Oklahoma State season progresses. 
you know, playing those two guys together, Boone and Cece. Boone, a good rim protection presence himself. Is how will Oklahoma State adjust to teams pulling them away from the basket? Foul on the Cowboys. John Michael Wright. He played 13 minutes in that first half after scoring 14 points in the opener. Yet to get on the board here tonight. Again, affecting the shot is the big fella inside. Yeah. That's Cisse protecting Caleb Boone. Boone gave up the penetration to Rupert. Foul on Newton. I don't think we've talked about him not much, but Rupert right there for college basketball fans. I recognize that name. He was a starter on that St. Peter's Elite 18. Back was huge in the Sweet 16 win against Purdue where he had 11 points. That great energy gives him added depth in the interior. I think a, a guy over time that's really going to produce for Southern Illinois this year. Pass stolen. Cowboys running. And the finish by Bryce Thompson. When you play anybody, it's important to take care of the basketball. You see the turnovers right there here in the second half. Southern Illinois already has three, but especially against Oklahoma State, live turnovers are a killer because they're so athletic at all five spots most of the time. You can really run the floor and turn those turnovers into points. Newton with a great feed. He gets the assist. Rupert the basket. First bucket of the second half for Southern Illinois. Pull up, short. Thanks. Wide open three. <laughs> Off the mark. Thompson. Cisse battles for it. Gets hacked. Foul on the Salukis. Harris, Smith, and Asbury set to check in. Now turnovers for Cal Baptist. And then Evansville will be the MVC opener on December 30th. Thompson drives, tries to dish. It's a turnover instead. Well, I had to do a double ch check right there. November 30 conference game. And that's that's different. That's right. I said December. It is November. That's well, because it's Christmas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what obviously we would want to say. That's usually when it is. Pretty move yeah. by Jones. Yeah, he is. He's tough. Showed it right there. Damas gets it back. Short on the three. He touched on uh, the Saluki's turnovers in the second half. Three of them have been turned into six Cowboy points. Yeah, they're killers, and as I mentioned, those live ball turnovers even more so. Step out or push? Watch Jones right here in space. See, Bryce Thompson kind of gets turned around. You, you really have to play him straight up. Keep in front, contain. Once you have secured the fact that he's not going to take the three, then you got to give yourself a little space uh, to keep in front. But, I mean, he's tough. And Oklahoma State's done a nice job overall. He's had to take a lot of shots to get his points. But that's not going to keep him from continuing to attack. And between he and Damask, if you get careless, they'll be right back in this game. 
Shot clock winding down. Banks gets stuck between the glass and the rim. Possession error, Oklahoma State. Cowboys lead it by nine. They haven't scored in 244. Saluki so showing full court pressure. Go back off. Say is you throw it in there to see say somebody's got to come over and help him and, and that may be a situation where he throws, nice block. Where he throws it back out and reposts And a three-point opportunity for Thompson Here's the block. Look at Asbury right here. Three-point shooter, but he's played for some defensive-minded coaches. So he plays both ends of the floor. And then Bryce Thompson absorbs some contact, gets it up there softly. He does a really nice job with that, whatever it is, six, eight, ten-foot floater. That was struggling at the line. And Bryce one for five from the stripe after making five of seven here tonight. Foster Wonders has checked in for the Salukis. The mask misses from close range. Corner three. Contact in the paint. <laughs> Boone and Wright back on. What's he say? How about that? 6'11 right there, Mike. <laughs> they don't have a men's gymnastics team here, but like the middle of my back just started hurting just <laughs> yeah. watching that. Well, we're about twice as old as him. At least I am. More than. Well, Cisse's athleticism is, is off the charts. I mean, that, that goes without saying. You know, when he went to Memphis as a freshman, really raw. Came to Oklahoma State last year, still fairly raw. And now you come into this season, Mike, and he's less raw, but still raw. So lots of upside for him. Free throws converted there by Jawan Newton. Fifth year senior out of El Paso, played at Evansville in the Missouri Valley. You see Chris Harris back on. Well, he, he was just asking Boynton 
felt like the ball should be higher or more towards midcourt or in the front court. Nice rebound. Yeah, Caleb's got to work on his closeouts. I mean, he's getting a lot of practice these first two games with closeouts on the perimeter. If Oklahoma State's going to play big, he and Cisse are going to have to learn to be a little bit more sound, especially as competition gets tough. Offensive foul on Musa. That was Boone, excuse me. So, game's a little stagnant, right? Oklahoma State comes out the second half, playing really well at both ends. This, this is the area or the space where Oklahoma State has had a history allowing teams back in. Nine points, obviously, not a huge deficit. Not insurmountable. But can, can Oklahoma State learn from Monday night and even the season's past to extend this right here? Jones. Call that on the floor, I'm not sure. Time out on the floor. Cowboys leading here in the second half. You're watching Big 12 now. The, the word was that game was sold out within like two hours of when tickets became available. So that'll be a major, major opportunity and something that people are anticipating up at Oakland, Mike. And remember, as you mentioned, beat Oklahoma State in here last year. And they return that great point guard play from Jalen Moore. Yep. He, I mean, he was really the difference down the stretch. When it was tight, I mean, he was the best player on the floor. So that'll be a tough one for Oklahoma State before they head to the Bahamas. Whistle before any of that. Cisse and Avery Anderson back on. Sixteen foul on the Salukis. D'Amico back on for Coach Mullins' team. Anderson nearly went up and down. He missed. He missed Caleb Book. Jones picks up the foul, puts the Cowboys in the one and one. And sometimes, Mike, when you have the ball on the wing right there, like Anderson did, you have to be strong with it, not put it on the floor, and, and give the play a half second to a second to develop. Caleb Boom pops wide open. This guy was trailing. Keon Williams back on. Cowboys have struggled from the line line. Three for eight. These five right here, Mike. This is a very athletic defensive team. Young freshman Williams out there with some veterans. Obviously, the rim protector and presence of CSAM. This should be a very good defensive ball. Play. Wonders is on track from way back. Yeah, Wonders redshirted last year. So he's a second year freshman. Had a chance to be really good. And what you saw right there is his strength, ability to pick, pop, knock down the three. Open three for an answer. Off the side of the rim and out of bounds. Here's one game. Michigan kid. In fact, second two years ago in the state of Michigan in terms of Mr. Basketball. And that's one of the, I think, things that Brian Moles is excited about. That's couple returners that are proven and really good. You had some good pieces like a Newton, and Rupert, certainly Johnson. There's some young guys too. 
And they, they have some depth. They have their best pieces in the four years since Brian Mullins has come back to Carpenter. The mask has it slapped away. Avery. Contested, but the follow is there by John Michael Wright. Yeah, you always want to follow your teammate up and not assume that they're going to make the layup. Hopefully, there was some grabbing right there in Anderson. But heads up play by John Michael Wright. That was pretty. Timeout, Southern Illinois as Avery gets the steal and the great individual play offensively. Nine twenty-five to go here in the second half. Second. Wonders thought about it. Now it goes back door and Jones with a finish. Good patience. Yeah, love Jones because he's good with the ball in his hands and he's great away from the ball. And right there, Wonders in serious trouble. Great backdoor cut. Okay. And you had Cisse, right, extended up the floor. And it helps you breathe easy. Now here it is. And Wonders in this trap. He stays at the top of the game. Just great backdoor cut. Knocked away by Brown, and he'll finish with a layup. And it's an eight point game. Whistle away from the ball. Wonders picks up his second. Cowboys will go back to the free throw line. And Oklahoma State's had, again, a handful of opportunities this second half to, to really extend it. What's been their, what's been their largest lead? 13? Yep. Like early 17-minute mark-ish. That's about right. So it was 12 a couple minutes ago. Back to 10 is Bryce Thompson. And, and this is a nice veteran team, so I'm in a better team that was in here Monday night. But like I said, it's interesting how the basketball guys give you opportunities to improve on things that you need to improve on, like immediately, next yeah. game. Right. Coach Point certainly understands that. One thing if they make plays, Southern Illinois, but it's another thing if you give plays away, like the turnover and the laying down here that put the Salukis up. Hey, that was a gift. The, the mask, a little shove in the back. Yeah, they, they definitely got the matchup they wanted right there. That's a tough one for Asbury. That's that's the versatility of Damask. Shoots the three, good passer, does all these things. But post when the matchup is there, it, it certainly was. Puts him in the bonus. And they're a perfect four for four from the line. Juan Newton back on.
and Damask in double figures with 10. Under eight to go. Three-pointer off the mark to mask with the board. Fall away is good. That was Newton for Southern Illinois. Three and lead it. Trail rather by six. Nice move there by Jawan Newton on ESPA. Now Oklahoma State does have 26 paint points, but it's a little deceiving when he's talking about imposing your will. A big part of that was Cisse and Boone inside. They they have a combined eight points on the night, and that is uh, on just four looks. I mean, they've got. But four field goal attempts. Right. So you like the advantage on paint points, but not coming exactly like he would have preferred. Right. That makes sense. Some of those paint points are also transition, which has been good. When Southern Illinois has turned it over, Oklahoma State has done a good job turning over the points. 15 points off of their turnovers. In the salute, he's with 20 points in the paint without their big fella, Abube who broke his finger in practice yesterday. Well defended there, saved to Cisse, and he hands it off. And there's some inside stuff. Oh, and, a, and an excellent pass from Bryce Thompson, because the only person that was gonna get their mitts on that, where that ball was thrown, was Cisse. Good entry pass away from the defender. Four nothing run out of the timeout for the Cowboys. Shot clock at five. Jones kicks it out. Three pointer is good. The mask. Boy, big shot right there. Oklahoma State. Mike had just a little bit of momentum turning their way, and that negates it. Cisse with a swish. It's nice in rhythm right there. Talking yeah. about touches, yeah. Got four quick points. Now he's really improved in, in a lot of areas offensively. Still a work in progress, but he's making progress, no doubt. And the mask, a nice finish. And that was created because the last time down he hit the three. This time he fakes it, drives, gets the bucket, and the foul. So this is D'Amico. But but notice, again, I've talked about, and they'll get better, Boone and Cissé on their closeouts. I mean, you have to close out straight up. But Cissé's wingspan, hands high right there. But, it, but it's a... It's a poor closeout, and he gets a pass because he's a five. But Boone and CC are athletic enough once they learn and get comfortable to defend them. But poor closeout, D'Amico goes by. Great job of using his body. And another answer bucket from Southern Illinois. He checks out with eight points. Rupert back on the floor. And D'Amico's been, they put him in the starting lineup tonight to match up better with Oklahoma State. He's done a really nice job. Thompson falling away. Won't go. Off of Oklahoma State. I think they may change this right here. I think, yeah. Oklahoma State back in 
underneath out of bounds, a little one four high. They've run some good stuff out of this here tonight. 5-12 to go. Anderson. Short on the three. Rupert hands it back to Damask. Jones will drive. Kick it back out. Open three. Short. Boy, dodge the bullet Oklahoma State did right there. Jones drove. Boone dragged Cissé with him, and that left Damask wide open at the top of the key. Two possession game here in Stillwater. Cowboys leading the Salukis 57. And this is to illustrate his progression. He averaged a double double. Right. 10 points, 10 rebounds. And you look at games like against Baylor, where he had 12 and 10, five blocks. West Virginia, 18 and 10. But what allows him to continue improvement is his work ethic and just a high motor. I mean, the guy plays hard. There's a nice mid-range jumper. Makes it an eight-point game. Anderson again. Yeah, that's a good matchup for him because to contain, the defender's got to get off. And there's a big cushion to keep Anderson in front so he's able to get into some rhythm dribbles into that mid-range. Jones, long three. Connects. Fifteen points for Jones. Big time, another answer. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. That went off of the Salukis. Really impressed with Southern Illinois, and, and here and here's why, Mike. Anderson three. So they're, he's finally coming. Well, they're, saying, they're going to play faster this year, but they knew they couldn't play as fast as they did the other night, right? So now Jones now taking over, and I, I cautioned this at halftime. You get into this situation. Where it's a couple of possession game late right now at the stage of these two teams Southern Illinois is better at being deliberate and slowing down the pace. Cissé with a miss one possession game Rupert the rebound and a chance here for the Salukis to pull within one or top and the reason is this is the way they played last year So they could pull back tonight With all the returners and their experience and slow it down here Jones again. Boy, he's gotten hot. 19 points on 8 of 15 shooting. 7 0 run over the last minute 20. Well defended again, and the Salukis have a chance to take the lead. Is this not somewhat reminiscent of the Oakland game a year ago? Jones misses a long three. Yep, yeah, no doubt, similar. Thompson calls a timeout. Cowboys will talk it over with a one point lead and one minute. And 40 seconds left. He and Marcus Damask, who are their two most experienced and best players, were Mullen in Mullinson's first recruiting class, and they have stayed the course for the opportunity and the potential of what they can do this year as a basketball team. Anderson 
Drives off balance, misses. Didn't catch rim. And here come the Salukis with a chance to take the lead with a minute 20 left. So Oklahoma State is a defensive team. And that is what's going to have to lead them to victory. Damask off the side of the rim. Brought down by the Cowboys. Final minute. Contact on the shot. I think they're going to call it on Rupert. And that'll send Musa Cisse to the strike. Yeah, good job, Oklahoma State. Showing patience getting inside. Rupert's in there. Again, a guy I think as the season progresses that's going to play more and help them. But he's probably the most experienced and best interior post defender. And, he, and he's in there. To defend Cisse. Did a nice job of shoving Cisse out just a little bit more. Cisse makes it a two point game. This is the second. Jones looking over to Mullins for instruction. The clear out right here goes all the way in short. Cowboys rebound and the Salukis foul. Fourth on Jones. So what Brian Mullins does here? I mean, you go to your guy, you get into hands, and you overload that left side. It's, you know, Anderson's lucky right there. I mean, again, you've got to be. Honest and play him straight up. He did not, but you have 33. Watch 33. Just in the area. Good contest by Anderson. And then I think a smart foul right here, Mike. Because you put Cisse at the line and you look at the, dis the difference. If you don't foul right there, there's only a five and a half second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And so Mullins immediately Cissé with the ball and the rebound tells his team to foul. I think that's intelligent. Misses them both. Two-point game. Under 30 to go here in the second half. Jones kick out for three, and the Salukis have the lead again. The mask drains it. He's four of eight from long range, 16 points, and they lead it 61-60. So the setup is the same. Avery does a better job. He drives middle. The mask slides to the corner right there. I mean, and then he knows, Jones knows, when I get here, I bring those two bigs in. And then I kick to Damascus, who slides to the corner. And that was pretty smooth. Cowboys with 19 seconds. Stolen. Quick foul, nine turnovers tonight on Oklahoma State. Excuse me. 14, that's the 14th. Now right here, John Michael Wright picks up his dribble. The only way you can enter the ball right there is you got to go underneath, Mike. You, you, you got to raise the ball high, bring his hands, and he should have gone right underneath there. Plenty of time to get it to Boone. He's isolated, and then look to cut off of him. The credit D'Amico with the ball pressure right there. That's the second time tonight his hands have made a great play. <laughs> Around and out. Ten seconds left. Avery calling for it. It's in Thompson's hands. 17-footer short. 
Saluki's rebound, and they're going to win it here at Gallagher Iva. Points for Lance Jones. Damask with 16 to lead the way. 